Hi folks, I'm back again. I sure did miss you. Hope you missed me too. Now I'm going to teach you how to make one of my most requested balloons. Actually, it's probably one of my most simple balloons too, which really makes it nice. It doesn't take long to make. It occupies a large amount of space, which makes it more valuable if you're working for tips. And I have an interesting story that goes with this one. A little guy I used to visit in the hospital uh, who had cancer, uh, I was at a cancer kid's uh, survivor event one day and he sat down by me and he says, Boomer, I want a monkey in a tree. I said, well, Ian, I don't make a monkey in a tree. And he just looked up at me and he says, oh, yes, you do. And so this is the one we came up with that day. And uh, I always share that story with the kids when I make it for them. I tell them about my little buddy Ian and uh, how he uh, inspired me to make this monkey in a tree. Okay? Simple. Here we go. First, I'm going to start with a mocha brown, okay? Inflate it all but about a quarter of an inch. So we'll just squeeze the balloon so the air goes to the end. I'm going to twist a one inch bubble. That's for the coconut, okay? Follow that by another one inch bubble. And now we're going to ear twist this second bubble. Okay, we're almost done with the brown piece. Now I'm going to take my black magic marker and put three little spots on that first bubble we twisted. That makes it into a coconut. Now if anybody out there knows why coconuts have those three spots on I'd sure like to know. You're never too old to learn something new. Okay, now we're going to take a green 260 and we're going to inflate it all but about a quarter of an inch and we're going to tie the two ends together. This will make the top of our palm tree. Pretty simple so far, isn't it? Now we're going to take about a third of that balloon and make a loop. It's okay, proportion doesn't have to be exact on this part. And then the second big bubble, we're just going to divide it in half. Okay, so I end up with three loops. Now we're going to take the brown balloon again and the ear twist. We're going to position it in the top of this. We're just going to wiggle the green one right up in there. I guess that's a technical term for balloon twisters, huh? Slide that in there, whatever you want to say. But you know what I mean. So we have the ear twisted brown on the top, with the green round, and the coconut on the bottom, okay? Now I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Now I'm going to grab a blue balloon that's inflated all but, oh, maybe three inches. You could probably go a little less than that. Now we're going to start this with a two inch apple twist. Some of you might know this as an, uh, a tulip twist. But we're going to push the knot down inside the balloon a couple of inches and then grab it. We're going to pull our finger out, okay? I'm going to twist that balloon on top of the knot, so the knot's below the twist. And I like to squeeze that so the knot goes back up inside that balloon just a little bit. That'll hold it. And we're going to follow that by a one inch bubble that's soft. So we're going to squeeze a little of the air out of it and then twist it so that bubble's soft. And we're going to ear twist this bubble. Okay. Now we're going to take about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a third, and make another soft bubble. Now it's going to be the top of the head, okay? And then we're going to take another one inch soft bubble and make another ear. So we're going to ear twist this. Pretty simple so far. Wow, that doesn't look anything like a monkey, does it? <laughs> well, we're going to fix that right now. This is going to be the only hard twist on this whole creation. We're going to twist from this point to this point, right between the fingers. It's going to be like one big ear twist around. I found when twist in balloons, it's usually better to twist fast than it is to twist slow. Balloons seem to be a little more forgiving that way. So I'm just going to grab the whole top of that head and twist it around. And that gives you the monkey head. See? Now before we zoom in on that, I'm going to draw a couple of simple eyes and nose on that just to finish them up. Like I said, this is one of my most requested balloons. And so, I'm glad that it's rather quick to make. 
I will get uh, my wife to zoom in on that so you can just see how the head looks. Makes a very recognizable monkey very quickly. Now, I can't take credit for that monkey. Uh, monkey head, actually, a, a friend of mine taught me that years and years ago, but I still remembered it. Thank goodness, because it bailed me out of a fix I was in with my buddy Ian. So now we're going to grab our tree again, and I'm going to twist about a one inch bubble for the monkey's neck, okay? Now we're just going to wrap them around the tree, and then twist the head around that loop. There's his arms around the tree. Twist about a three inch body, wrap the remainder around the tree, and then I'll twist it again back here, see? And I'm going to lace this through the loop, so I'll hold it. And there's your monkey in a palm tree, complete with coconut. Now, wasn't that quick and easy? I know you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Thanks.